chickens in the driveway. <laughs> hey folks, this is Josh, Tony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog today. We are going on a journey. We're going to a friend's house, a neighbor's house, who's got the coolest car for sale, and we just might buy it. So we're gonna go look at this car. It's a surprise what it is. It's probably not a surprise. The thumbnail probably shows it. I'll just go ahead and tell you. We're gonna go look at an old 1969 Dodge Charger General Lee. So come along today. We're gonna have some fun. We'll walk around the car. We'll see what he wants for it. And we might buy it and have a cool project. All right, woo! Mrs. Stony Ridge doesn't know about the General Lee. So she's a 31 year old young lady and I'm a 41 year old young lady, young man. And uh, I have introduced my wife to several movies that were cult classics for cars, such as some Steve McQueen movies and some Smokey and the Bandit. And also we bought the box set of the Dukes of Hazard. So she's a fan of the General Lee. We've gone to the Dukes of Hazard Museum together in Nashville, Tennessee, and we're both pretty excited. She's not very excited about spending more money, but I'm pretty excited. And we got chickens in the driveway. Move it, move it chickens. I wonder where that one that went under went. Get out of here, go, go, go. <laughs> for a second there, I thought we we're gonna have to have chicken soup for supper. All right, we're hitting the blacktop. I'm going off the camera. So we're back on another dirt road here out in the country. And uh, again, we're in the hills and hollers of North Carolina here in the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains. I'll give you a little bit of back history on myself. I'm just a car nut. I just love cars. I love cars and trucks and tractors and anything with wheels and an engine. I just love it. So I've had a 71 Chevelle, two 72 Chevelles, a 73 Chevelle, a 64 Impala, 64 Buick Skylark, 57 Chevy Bel Air, 59 International Panel Truck. I've got a 69 Bronco still. We've got the Willys Jeep. I just have an affinity for vehicles. I'm trying to find this guy's place. I just love vehicles. I like to buy them. I like to play with them for a little while. I like to pass them on to somebody else and let them enjoy it. And, and I just totally enjoy having something fun to play with. So that's the background here on me. Uh, there's always little hobbies and little things we'll be tinkering with. This guy's house is really nice. Let's pull on up here. There's always things on the farm we'll be tinkering with. Oh, the General Lee's right there, dude. It's got some big ferocious dogs too. Look at that. Oh man, ankle biters. Look at this guy. Oh, awesome. We gotta get out and check this thing out. Awesome rig too, check it out. All right guys, here it is, the General Lee. This is a 1969 Dodge Charger actually used in the movie, The Dukes of Hazard. No, it's not. It's not actually used in the movie. This car has been sitting for about 15 years. The guy I'm looking at buying it from is thinking about spray painting it like a flat black just to make it look nice. Was it flat black? What color was it? Any kind of color to make it a solid color to make the car look, look good. I love the patina. We're going to walk around this car. I'll give you a whole detail of everything here and he's going to put it up on eBay. If I don't buy it, I'll keep you guys posted or you can watch eBay for it. But, uh, man, it just, it's just awesome. So I'm going to stop looking at the camera. You've seen enough of my big dumb face. Let's check this car out. That's a nasty spot right there. So 69 Dodge Charger. The quarter panels are pretty much rotted out, but just so happens that there are two nice, beautiful, fresh quarter panels right here that go with the car. Let's see here. So the lead's all out of the top right here. It had a vinyl top on it at one time. Go in here. Is it a torque flight automatic transmission? Floor pans are decent, but we've got a little bit of Flintstone going on in here. So gonna have to replace the floor pans, door panels, dashboard. It's got a rear window for it. All the glass is in boxes over here. The car ran about six months ago, six or eight months ago. He had it up and running. It's got a 383. And let's pop the hood. Let's see what we got here. That there is a 383 big block. It's just an awesome car. 
if I could afford it, if I was Bill Gates, I'd love to have that for lawn art. So let's walk around a little bit more. It's got a little rust under the hood. It's okay though. Man, that car's made out of some metal. Awesome, awesome. Think about how many times one of these vehicles has been launched into the air. So this is the driver's side, and it's had a little bit of a boopsie right here. Don't worry, there's a new quarter that comes with it, but a little boopsie right there, and that is about the world's thickest Bondo. That's a, I'm gonna say that's a good inch thick of Bondo. I'll tell you what though, that Bondo ain't never gonna rust. <laughs> I don't know guys, I don't know. I don't know if I want this project on the farm or not. We've got the Bronco, I'm gonna sell off one or two of my older vehicles should we jump on the general e or is it too far gone what do you guys think give me a give me an idea what do you think the value of this thing is i've seen them on ebay fixed up they're going for 50 or 60 thousand bucks they're really not i guess peaking in value right now should we jump on it should we jump on the general e should we buy it what do you think it's worth I don't know, I don't know. There's a whole trailer load of parts back over here. Anything and everything we need to fix it, it's probably gonna cost me about 25 grand to get her all fixed up, pull her apart in the garage this winter. I'll keep you posted on the vlog if we decide to buy it. Post me comments, tell me, what do you think it's worth? What's it worth? Let's see if the door opens, hold on. Hold on, we getting in here. <laughs> yeah! Guys, thanks a lot for watching the vlog today. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what I should pay for this General Lee, what you think it's worth, and whether we should get it. I know you want me to get it. I know you want to see the project, but do we have time with making the farm grow? I don't know. Be sure you pound that like button, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more fun stuff like this, and I'm going to try it one more time. woo -ha! <laughs> Tetanus. My belt's hung. <laughs> Coming out. <laughs> we gotta work on this. <sighs> God, don't bite me in the ass. Please don't bite me in the ass. <laughs> Guys, this dog really loves me. I'm afraid I might need a tetanus shot after this. <laughs> Hood slide. I'm gonna stop as soon as I hit this thing. Ah, nah, nah. Stony Ridge fat guy. <laughs> My feet are too big, they won't fit through the... Uh-uh. 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 <laughs> Those Bo and Luke Duke, them boys are smaller than me. <laughs> I ain't fitting in that thing. <laughs>